I believe in this great country of ours that you don't just become part of the fabric, you are actually tested. Here is freedom, but are you willing to fight to be part of it? My name is Zaid Nagy. I was born in uh, the city of Ib, the Republic of Yemen. I was 13 years old. My dad brought me. He was a US citizen. So he was able to uh, bring us in. It's the next step following the dream or so creating the road for a dignified life, I guess. Most Yemeni Americans, like my dad, own uh, grocery stores. The stores are open 24 hours. Greeting people in the morning when they're grouchy and facing them when they come at five o'clock when they're tired, that's not an easy job. You know, open up your door to everybody. I mean, everybody, from the criminal to the angel. Anybody who looks at history uh, will see that's the first job that an immigrant, you know, that's the unwanted job. This is the, the, the harsh job. 9-11, I was behind the counter working in my uncle's store. I didn't understand what's going on. Before 9-11, you were just like the next American. After that, oh, you're a terrorist, you know, you will be serving somebody in a grocery store, and then you just have a minor argument that had to do with nothing. Very soon, he just put the big word on you, you know, or sand niggers or camel jackies and words like that. It's become a question. Uh, are we really part of the fabric? These are radical Islamic terrorists. And she won't even mention the word, and nor will President Obama. He won't I was following the election very close. When the election was going on, I was telling them, that's not gonna be allowed here. That's what I was telling my friends and friend of Rana. These things might be allowed in Yemen, but this is not gonna be allowed in America. And then when the election occurred, okay, maybe he, he won, but still, the, he's just, one part of the system. And then we got hit with a travel ban. A picture was painted of our community. The travel ban said, these are bad people, terrorists. My community said, no, 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 no. That's not who we are. We are business owners. We are people who work 12 hours. We are the people who serve you the coffee in the morning. We are the people who, who make you sandwich. And here we are. February 2nd, more than a thousand Yemeni American store in the city of New York closed. And 6,000 Yemeni Americans. I had a protest at Brooklyn Bar Hall. And I was in the heart of it. That was a very important moment in my life. That was a very important moment in our community existent in the United States. This community that comes from a country where showing up really has serious consequences, it did show up. There is a saying in Arabic that says, which means sometimes bad things is good for you. The Yemeni American community, we were dormant. We actually run away from politics. We kind of like rely on the other forces to always fight for us until uh, one day we are forced to stand up. I'm a firm believer still to this day and to this moment of the American way. I hope I I'm not wrong uh, that despite anything, at the end of it, uh, at the end of it, America will get it right.